Bitcoin's hard money. Remember, if you lose your seed phrase, you lose your Bitcoin. What up guys, Leak Guy here. I know you guys are having a great Christmas holidays. Today's December 28th. Um, come on, look what's happening here. Look what's happening here. Bitcoin topped out at 28,000 and changed, 28,300 it tagged. I mean, look at this run we've had. We t we've been talking about it. If you've been following me for the last year or two, we've been talking about this happening pump and it's just starting now. Um, what can we say? Everything we wanted to have happen has happened. But if you really look at the chart, look at this measured move we've made here, two impulses. Are, are we just here in 2017? This is the 2017 pump. Are we just here, right? Who knows how high this is gonna go? We're going into, we, we're well into price discovery mode. The happening was not priced in. The price discovery was not priced in. Who knows where it's gonna go? I don't know. I like to think it's gonna go to 100K, but I don't know. But anyway, other things have happened this year. Uh, in December, we had something really unfortunate. The French company Ledger, who makes the really cool hardware wallets that we've all loved and enjoyed, they had a terrible, terrible data breach that we knew about in June. We reported on it but we were waiting for the data to be dumped and it has been dumped. It's been shared on raid forums by this Anon user. What's happened? He's, he's released two files, one containing all the emails or a bulk of the, a lot of the emails from the, the Ledger customer list. This was their Shopify list. A million emails were leaked, but worse, 272,853 uh, addresses, real names, email addresses, and phone numbers. So yeah that's exactly what you don't want to be leaked is your real address your physical address where you've ordered your ledger devi device from it's really terrible a lot of people have been affected fortunately i was not in the list i was really happy about that i've always used a p.o box to drop my items in a fake name and that really paid off this time um what can you do if you're in the list i will put some links in the description for you to check including this article um, one of the things that we did when as soon as this data was leaked I bought it off of the raid forums and I put it out there because we made torrents of it and everything like we put it out there the reason why is because people can alter this data people can lord over this data and charge you to check it or whatever so we just thought it needed to be public domain stuff that's what happens when this stuff gets leaked it gets put into the public domain we wanted that done as quickly as possible if you need help checking if you're in this list my dms are open you can email me i can show you some links but if your data has been leaked what can you do so if someone's coming to your house going to do a wrench attack or try and get your crypto what they're really looking for is your seed phrase they're looking for your wallet to your hardware wallet but really they're looking for your seed phrase because that's all they need to steal your bitcoin that's your private key there's nothing more important than that so if you are on this, this list, I strongly urge you to look into methods to protect your Bitcoin seed phrase. Uh, that's your 24 words. Possibly you have a 25th word if you have a password on top of it. But um, take a look here. Jameson Lop has made this wonderful list of metal Bitcoin seed storage reviews by Jameson Lop. Link in the description. But basically what he's done is he's tested all these commercial options. The first thing you're going to notice is that you know, a lot of these really expensive commercial options, I don't want to call too many people out here, but they don't rate so well and they're expensive and they essentially don't work because they've been through a burn test, they've been through saltwater tests and for some reason they just hold, don't hold up. But look what we got here. It's the Seifu Ninja. It got a really good rating. It's been through the burn test. It survived it. What is it? It's really just a recipe. It's not a commercial item at all. It's just a recipe for how to build a safe seed storage that anyone can do with a series of washers and a bolt. And not only that, but it has privacy built in. There is no address associated with ordering this stuff because you can go to the hardware store and pay for it in cash. Cheap and easy and very effective. So what is it? It's a series of M6. They're also called fender washers. In this case, they're a quarter inch. The hole down the middle is a quarter inch. You can get creative. The one I used was an eighth of an inch down the middle, so I had a little bit more room. That's up to you. But they're about an inch in width or the width of a quarter. That's how you can figure it out when you go to the hardware store. They've got a nice little cap nut on the end, or you can use a wing nut. It's really up to you. The bolt down the middle should be one to two inches, depending on how many uh, washers you can use. And let's jump over here. Um, this is what the stamp looks like. You can get these on Amazon all day long. They're 20 bucks. 
Now take a look at this little device. This is called a block mitt and I will provide the Thingiverse link for this, but you can 3D print this thing and it will help you to put your, uh, stamp your letters on. But I have to be perfectly honest, I did print one of these things, but the little center bit wouldn't fit inside there very well. And I spent a lot of time with a hand file. It was Christmas day. I did it with a, an electric fi a file, like a pro one, and I just got sick of it. So what I ended up doing was just taking it to an anvil and just starting to smash these uh, letters in myself and it worked just fine. It took me about 30 or 40 minutes to do it. Here we go. I mean, honestly, I screwed around with the block mitt thing forever and it was just easier just to take it to an anvil and just start smashing it. it works great. So yeah, I mean, you, I think you guys can figure it out. Like you gotta make your seed phrase on each of these. I put a one on one side, two on the other. And then the next piece, three and four, five and six, etc. And when you're done, it will look like this. And that's it. And there's a nice little case that we're going to put it in, which I'll show you at the end here. Looks great once it's done. Look at that. Very nice. Very effective. This is by my man, Burn the Bridge. He goes by on Twitter. He's one of my favorite follows, the Econo Alchemist, at Econo Alchemist. When you're done, does it burn? Check this out. He puts it through the ringer, gets it white hot, and the results are no problem. Look at that. All right, so this is a, he's even put this stuff in salt water and tested it. Like it's just, the guy is really great, but, so yeah, this is it. I mean, you can put this together in an afternoon and it really does provide some peace of mind. Um, here's what the block mitt looks like, right? I'll provide the Thingiverse link. And then once you've got it all done, right? And you've got your little roll of washers, what do you do with it? Check this out. A friend of mine sent me this link. I've got one on the way, but it's about the width of a quarter or an inch, a little bit more than an inch, right? And it looks like this. And this will hold your series of washers, I mean, in a nice little container, there's even a keychain there for some reason. But, I mean, geez, you could even park that thing across a border with an imaginary line. So this is what you need to kind of just put it in. And I'll, get, I'll let you guys get creative on where you put this. You could encase it in concrete, you could put it in a wall. I mean, that's up to you, right? Guys, I hope that everyone learned something. Even if you weren't in the ledger hack, you learned something from it, that privacy and security really are two sides of the same coin. You really have to consider it especially now that we're in the $20,000 plus price for one Bitcoin. If you're holding crypto, you've got now got a bank in your pocket and you really, really have to secure it. It's important going forward. So I hope that everyone kind of learned something from this. If you did, like and subscribe. Cheers, guys. This is how you deep fry turkey. How long did that take? 45? 50 minutes, right? 50 minutes, that is how you do it, baby. Looks good.